The background image is any image you want to insert into your report that will appear in the background centered on every single page. But it may involve some prep work on your part, well, the image that is, because if you insert an image that's big, bad, bold, and beautiful right in the middle, you may not be able to see the data in front of the image. So you may want to Photoshop that bad boy, bleach it out, so it's not so bold. That way you can read the data in front of the image. Now, why would you want to insert an image into the background? Sometimes people do it with text, and so if it's top secret and you have these pages printed off and you're flipping through it and every page says top secret, okay, maybe you should keep it top secret. Or it could say draft or don't print, or maybe it's a logo for your company or a picture of a product that you want on every single page. So it's one way you can identify the immediate purpose of the report or how to handle it, like with care or secrecy. And so to go ahead and insert an image into the background of our report, come up here with me, good neighbor, and right click on the tab, go to the design view. And oh, before I do that, I'm getting an ADD moment, meaning that I'm looking at the background here and it's a light gray color. How would you like to learn how to change colors within your sections here? Well, you have no choice. I'm going to show it to you anyways. So to do it for this section here, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either go ahead and double click on the report header bar to bring up the properties for that section. So double click. And so what you do here that I'm going to show you applies to all the other sections. It's the same steps. Then come over to the property sheet and we're looking at the back color. Right now it's text to lighter 80%. Well, what's that? Go ahead and click in it so you can see the build button. Click on the build button. And there it is right there. Hover over it and the pop-up says it's actually blue-gray. It cut the prefix off for the first part of it. And then it says text to lighter 80%. So if you want to change it to another color like that. Oh, that's nice. Let's go ahead and check that out. Close out of that. Cool. Or if you don't want to open up the property sheet, you can actually right-click in the section, go to fill back color, and that works as well. Maybe something, oh, let's do something like purple. Okay, that's too much. Can we undo that? Oh, good. Either way. Now, next, let's go ahead and insert the image into our report as a background. And to do that, I want to come up here, click on the Format tab, go to the Background Group, and right there, Background Image. Click on it. And since I already was messing in here before I started the training video by inserting an image, it shows up here. Now you can insert an image either in the background or from the design tab, insert image. And once you insert it, either the background or from the insert image here, it will remember it, at least for this session. So it's already there, but I don't want to insert an image here. I want to go to the format and do it as a background. And so I can click on it since it's there, it inserts it. Let me undo that because if it's not there, then click on the drop down arrow and browse for it. So you can use the navigation pane. If it's on the desktop, select it and come over here in the main window, your desktop. And it's in my exercises folder. Double click. If you can't see it, then you probably don't have it set to look for it. So click on the type arrow and say you want to see all files. And there it is. Double click on it and it adds it. And it's not going to be good because that image is bold. It's not bleached. But that's the purpose of the training video to show you what it looks like if you don't bleach your image here. And how are we going to check on that? Well, let's go ahead and right click and go to the report view. And oh, looky there. I can read the data as clear as day, but I can't see the image. And you know, we got these data fields that have the white background, so it's over on top of the image. Okay, so that's the report view. How about when I print it off? Because what you see in the print preview is what's going to come out of your printer. So let's right click and go to the print preview. And we need to scroll over just a bit down. So Oh, that's horrifying. Look at that. I can't even see it at all. So the data is just totally blocking out. So what's the purpose of inserting a background image if you can't see it in the report? So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and right click, go back to the design view and make some changes here. So first thing is, is these fields, the background color is white. And so with that in front of it, I'm not able to see the image behind it. So let's go ahead and select these three fields because those are the only ones that is in the way here. The department name is over far left enough that it's not over the image, so we don't have to worry about that. So to select these three fields, let's go ahead and start over to the far left and marquee them. As we talked about in an earlier training video, just click and drag a line through the fields, let go, and it selects all three. 
And let's go ahead and bring out the property sheet for the three text boxes by coming up to the design tab, going to the tools group, click on property sheet, and we're on the format tab, which is good because it eliminates all the fields that are available. We just want to focus on the formatting fields. It still looks like a lot. And we want to look at the back style from normal, click inside of it, click on the drop down arrow, and we want to make it transparent. Close out, and looky there, I can see right through. Well, let's really looky there by right clicking on the tab and going to our print preview. Okay, we can see more of it, but we still have what are called these alternating row colors. And you know what? We also have this summary department code that's in the way as well. Oh, that's annoying. We'll address these alternating row colors in just a minute, but let's get rid of this. Right click, go to the design view, and it's this box right here, the department code footer. And so we want to go ahead and double click on the border to bring up the property sheet. We're on the format tab. Nice. Let's go ahead and back style, double click to transparent. Like I said, you can just double click to toggle between the options that are available as opposed to clicking on the drop down arrow. And then let's go ahead and right click, go to the print preview. Okay, now we got a line going through it. So we got rid of the color, made it transparent, but we still have a line around the border of the box. Right click, go back to the design view. Phew, this is a lot of work. And with it still selected, we've got the border style that's solid. Let's click in there and click on the drop down arrow and make it transparent. And then let's come up here, right click on the tab, go to the print preview. And hey, the line's gone, nice. The only thing we're dealing with now is the alternating row color here. So we've got every other record is gonna be in gray and the others are going to be transparent. So that way it helps us when we're reading the report, these banded rows, where when I'm reading one row, my eyes don't ski waver down below because if I get outside of the gray area into something else, I'm not in the gray, right? Of course, it works for the transparent. If I'm reading this row and my eyes start moving up, I'm like, oh, not in the transparent. I'm in the gray, top or bottom. So if that doesn't bother you as much as wanting to be able to see your background image, you can get rid of the alternating color for these records here, the banded row color. That way, when we make it transparent, we'll be able to see the image here. So to do that, let's right click, go to the design view, and we're going to be doing it for the details section. The other sections have their own banded colors, if at all, like the department name. So let's go ahead and click on the detail bar, and the property sheet's already up. So the properties for the details section, after I select that bar, and you can see up here, the drop down, I've got it selected as opposed to something else. It doesn't say detail. So I can click on the drop down arrow, it's sorted alphabetically, go right to the detail. There's detail and it selects it, so I have the details section selected. Then just come over here on the Format tab, and you can go to the All tab, and it shows additional fields, but since we're dealing with formatting only, we can narrow it down. And we're looking at the alternate background color, and there it is, background 1, darker 5%. Go ahead and click on it, and then click on its Build button, and that's what's selected right there. White background 1, darker 5%. Hey, just for fun, let's go ahead and choose something else, something kooky. Let's be bold and dangerous. Go ahead and select it instead of making it transparent, and let's see what it looks like. When I right-click and go to the print preview, oh, that's horrifying. Undo, undo, right-click, go back to the design view, and instead of that, let's go ahead and click on the build button and say no color. All right, right-click, go to the print preview. Hey, there you go. We don't see those banded rows here. Nice. The only problem is, is that my image isn't washed out. It's bold and beautiful. So it's a little bit hard to see some of these numbers here. In any case, it's a good point that you want to bleach your image. So it's enough that you can identify it or make it out, but not too bold that you can't read the data in front of it. And let's go ahead and click on it once to zoom out. And there you go. Now you can see it really centered right smack in the middle of the first page. Well, it's the only page that we have here. But if we had additional pages, we go through and see the image right in the middle of all the other pages. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.